Party. Let me read you a letter received from one of our supporters as an example of the kind of waste we're talking about. It's addressed to the Secretary of Agriculture, and it goes like this. Dear sir, my friend Ed Peterson over at Wells, Iowa, received a check from the government for not raising hogs. So I want to go on the not raising hogs business next year. As I see it, the hardest part of this program will be in keeping an accurate inventory of how many hogs I haven't raised. <laughs> now, my friend Peterson is very joyful about the future of this business. He's been raising hogs for 20 years or so. And the best he ever made on them was $422.1968, until this year when he got you a check for $1,000 for not raising hogs. Now, if I get $1,000 for not raising 50 hogs, well, I get 2,000 for not raising 100 hogs. <laughs> because I plan to operate on a small scale at first, holding myself down to about 4,000 hogs not raised. <laughs> And that'll mean $80,000 the first year. Now, another thing. These hogs I will not raise will not eat 100,000 bushels of corn. I understand you also pay farmers for not raising corn or wheat. Will I qualify for payments for not raising wheat and corn, not to feed the 4,000 hogs I'm not going to raise? Also, I'm considering the not milking cows business, so please send me any information on that, too. In view of these circumstances, you will understand that I will be totally unemployed and therefore plan to file for unemployment and food stamps. <laughs> be assured, be assured you will have my vote in the next election. Patriotically yours, John Partridge. Now, if you want to understand